Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Circus of Horrors. I think the best way I can describe it is Rocky Horror meets Cirque du Soleil. It's a genuine circus as well, with a rock band behind it. Most people probably know them for Britain's Got Talent. I'd say probably a good 80% of it is original music as well. We throw in the old covers there, like, you know, like little odes to like particular artists as well. You know, it's like if you've listened out quite closely, you can recognise a few of like riffs here and there. It's quite progressive as well because no two shows are the same. Our musical director is always thinking about like uh, adding extra bits into the show like here and there as well. And even though we had the production week uh, like before the tour started, the the show music both musically and performance wise from the acts has come a long way since then and you do have to interact with the crowd as well because we sometimes do have to move out on the stage quite a bit as well but that's all part of the show that is you know just like give it a bit of like energy and like connection with the audience the things that I, I like to take from BIM as well probably the most important thing that I learned from there was like don't expect people to hand you stuff on the plate if you want something you got to go out there and do the work you've got to be you've got to want to go out and get what you what you really want and I think BIM especially really helped um, you know just sort of like ignite my passion for music it was just great to be like in an environment with like-minded people as well who are, who are all in the same boat and they're all uh, there because they, they want to become better musicians and I'd like to think that BIM helped me along with that. I couldn't actually say that I'm actually making a living from playing bass now and I, that's like that's my dream job uh, that is and I'm doing it especially with a group like Circus of Horrors. 